introduce yourself to our audience. My name is Fem. I'm the London correspondent for Complex News. And you are now in London. Well done. Am I in London? Uh, Not quite. How's your English accent? Fantastic. How's that? I think it's set. Alright, Fen, I will see you in 20 seconds. Okay. That's pretty fast. Hi! Here. It's been 20 seconds. Yeah. Finally found you. Welcome to England. Thank you. Do you know why we're here? Um, yes, I do. In fact, we're here because Nike are unveiling their World Cup kit. Fun fact, they're also unveiling their new Nike Mercurial, Mercurial. football cleats. It took me a little while to understand how to say the word Mercurial, but I know it well, so I'm like Mercurial, Mercurial, Mercurial. I know you played growing up. Yeah. Maybe someone don't know about you played Chicago. You were a stopper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> For me, it's like it's also like Jordan era, but my parents are from Ghana and West Africa. So my dad was like having me kick around a soccer ball when I was young. So actually, instead of playing basketball at the high school that I ended up in, eventually ended up going to end up playing soccer, football all the way through, and then you know state championships and all that. The one in the back, uh, Fabio, the 24 London uh, kid, tore his ACL, uh, had to hang up his football career, built the brand at 24, and now we're giving Fabio a platform to bring that brand onto the Nike silhouette and then take that to market to give the kids a choice uh, to choose into that. We have a few teams that we'll run through, and we'll see who will come out on top. Um, so we got off-white team, we got the Kim Jones team, we got the Skepta team, Wiz Gator Star Wars, Elites and undefeated. On Skepta's team. Oh wow. I mean, <laughs> it's in the back, right? <laughs> All right, I don't know if you guys heard that. We are going to be customizing our own football jerseys. We have a game tomorrow, and I am on Team Skepta. Jersey acquired, now it's time to assemble. I think I'm gonna go with... Number five. M-U-I. Here it is, here's my jersey. Just waiting for... Let's get the logo. It's really interesting this term Nija as a word. It represents more than just a word. It represents a state of mind. It represents a sense of being, a sense of self, pride, and strength which uh, is really powerful, especially when you look at a national football team. Inspired by that, our team wanted to create a collection to show the world that Nigeria showed up on the world stage for their World Cup this summer. <laughs> Very best of luck, you know, and um, I pray that God will guide and protect every one of you guys on the pitch. Yeah. Um, by God's grace, we're going to come back here to celebrate with the World Cup. Today, we're introducing three new products the most advanced ball goalkeeper gloves, and shin guards that Nike has ever offered. What are the product benefits? In a word, control. Traditional soccer ball is constructed of 12 panels. The Nike Merlin is a four panel ball with 40% fewer seams and fewer hard spots that typically come with a seam. So we've opened up the surface of the ball. Larger striking area, larger, more pronounced sweet spot. We are currently in the break room, according to Rachel, there's 300 media companies and groups out here and we're just making the rounds. They split us up into groups. I think the next group is England. Other than that, we gotta refuel because that, that six hour plane ride turned into 11 because I lost five hours. Either way, onwards and upwards.
How are we doing? Okay, so we're doing really well. I'm gonna let you into a little secret. What's that? Kim Jones said he liked my jacket. Whoa. So like levels. I know. I was like, thanks, I like yours too. But. Well, I know we went our separate ways. Yeah. I continued inside. Yeah. You went back outside for the yeah. red carpet. And I interviewed pretty much, I'd say, 80% of the athletes that the world has to offer. Wow, <laughs> the world has to offer. Yeah. Okay. So next up is Imperial Fleet. There you go. Well, this is amazing, like, it's a big honor. I've always liked the colors flashy. Friends of mine, I said to them, one day we'll be the best player in the world, and they smile. They look at me like, what, what are you talking about? Now comes the best part of the day for me. All right, so don't think I need to introduce this legend. Um, I'm gonna ask him a few questions. Now that he's been trying and testing the boots, I mean, what sort of feedback? In town, eh? Was he experiencing those workers now? You know, those three days. Yeah, it's the actual three days. Here you go. Woo! Boa tarde, boa noite a todos. Primeira vez que eu utilizei foi foi fantástico, eu nunca até te falei que já queria usar as chuteiras né? e, e logo após a gente começou a conversar sobre isso, sobre tudo, não sabia a cor, qual ele ia ser, mas de primeira é uma impressão que foi muito boa. Well, Ney is saying that it's a true story, which I forgot. Uh, first time we brought the boots and he actually, you know, uh, tested them. He asked if you, if you could play, you know, right away with it. This was over a year and a half, two years or so, first prototype. And he said, no, you have to wait a little bit. We're not, we're not ready for that yet. So, of course, he was super excited the first time. New Jersey's very own Tobin. He. <laughs> so, clearly you're wearing the materials. Have you played in them yet? I have not yet played in them. Can you They've describe? They've been on the wraps. Okay. Well, yeah. can you get, describe to me how they feel? Because comfortable. Not like I mean, there's Even a lot more? of more. Yeah. They're probably the lightest boot that I felt, and for materials, which are already light boots, they're so like you always kind of find that fine balance between like light and and supportive. That's always kind of like the give and take, and for like players that want to be as close to the ball as possible, which like I would prefer playing bare feet. <laughs> so for me, like, the material is the perfect boot for me because I have that feeling of like a slipper nice. on the foot. What about off the field? What sneakers um, do you wear off? I'm really trying to cop a pair of off-white um, Jordan ones. Okay. If anybody wants to help me out. Throw your size out there. So people know. Uh, well, it's tough, but I'd say seven and a half. Okay. So would you consider yourself a hype beast? Um, I saw this those, picture. Those people are intense, man. I love kind of like this, all the collabs going on. I love the innovation and the fact that it's kind of that mix between art and sport, especially in the sneaker game. I know Kobe Bryant dabbles in a little bit of soccer himself. Yeah. The question is, can he hang with you on the field? I don't know. We'd have to see. Hey, Kobe! Kobe, shout out. Kobe! He's, he's a huge supporter of the women's match team, so we really appreciate him. What about Justin Bieber? He messes a little bit with I saw him at uh, Barcelona training or something. But you can watch him. Is he a lefty? I don't know. I think I saw something like that. All right. I'm gonna call the video here. I try to get more interviews, but unfortunately, when there's 300 media outlets, it's very hard to secure an interview. Other than that, it's dinner time. No cameras allowed, so I will see you tomorrow morning.